Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is just going to be a quick reaction in the next edition of the Ghostly Take to the Phantoms. Big OT winner on an OT game winner is second of the season by Ryan Fitzgerald to get the 4-3 victory over the Baby Penguins for our Lehigh Valley Phantoms yesterday. That now brought them up to 6-2-2 and on the season thus far. Brendan Saunier was able to score his first career goal as well on a great steal at center ice. That then Kudiemi got it to Kasha, who got it over for the Saunier one-timer. There's also on my Bork 6789 a, a great um, photo somebody took that they put on their Instagram. I can't remember it right now, but it's on my story. Of the one-timer going in, that's from a fantastic angle, a fantastic photo. That was brilliant, and congratulations to Sonia and ECHL standout for being able to step up and get his first in the AHL while stepping in for two big-time forwards. The Phantoms were missing Sandine as well as Willman, who obviously is one of their top players and the top players in the AHL as well, and literally just missed the rookie qualification last year by one game. He played 24-25. to uh, which 25 is a qualification, he only played 24. Uh, Garrett Wilson was then able to get it after a brilliant play by Morin to get through the defense and then get a nice assist over to Garrett Wilson, like the great Bob Rotruck said. That was a brilliant play that kind of flashed back him playing forward, so maybe playing some forward in that experiment, even though it didn't work and he looks best and that is grooviest on defense. Um it looks like it might have helped in some facets and being able to make plays like that to get around the defense and get an assist over to a veteran like Wilson. That was huge, huge, excuse me, a Tim Showers goal. Uh, that was the one that ended up being in front that McIntyre argued that shouldn't have been a goal. He had his glove on that. That was an awful call by the referee. Um, that definitely should not have been a goal, and that's why no matter what it had to take it, they probably should have been able to somehow use replay this year at some capacity because you can't have calls like that that are really the only reason um the game was able to get to overtime because you figure if that wasn't a goal it would have been a 3-2 regulation victory uh curry was then able to score in the second period uh their captain wilkesbury's captain assisted by Schaller, who had a good game and drew o'connor who came down after playing nine games for the actual pittsburgh penguins uh, Pascal LeBurge was able to score again. This is a guy you cannot control injuries. The same goes with Morin. Look how well and steady Eddie Morin has looked since moving back to defense these couple of games. He's been one of the best graded defensemen in those two contests. Uh, LeBurge, since he's been in, he got injured in the end of February after scoring in his return. But then he scored again in this game and had a great goal while battling in front. Lazisky battled on a rebound on a nice shot from Wilson that was kicked out by Start. Um, and they were able to um, score there on a nice play. So I think um, he's a guy that's just going to continue to improve and get better. As Road Truck said in the telecast, he just needs to get some a bit stronger as well. And once he gets stronger and grows, he will be significantly better. Lozinski's also a guy that's already a bat out of hell on the ice. If he gets a little bit stronger, that's going to be huge. He kind of reminds me of Knack, and he was picked in the sixth round. He's looking like he can be a great steal out of a great program at the Ohio State University. Then Shaw was able to score again to tie the game late in the third at the 15-47 mark. Uh, that was unfortunate, but Ryan Fitzgerald was clutch. Ratcliffe was able to chip it up to him, and he was able to bury it on a great wrister off the post and in past Start, who had a good game for Wilkesbury Scranton. But Zane McIntyre, when needed, really did step up in this game. He made 32 um, saves on 35, obviously, shot attempts, letting in the three goals. But that one goal, again, he should have really only let in two goals because that one goal should not have been allowed. It was covered by him. He was still a star of this game as far as I'm concerned and obviously really stepped up, showed up, and showed out again. Brendan Saunier for being able to blast that one time. Whenever a guy scores his first goal, I automatically throw him a star of the game and then usually just do four stars to throw at other people as well. Samuel Morin is bar none a star of this game. He's been by far one of our best defensemen since pairing with Wyatt Wiley, who also got an assist on Garrett Wilson's goal to be able to get it up to Morin to then start that play that Sammy went off, made a great play to get the assist over to Garrett Wilson to bury the goal. Um, Pascal LeBurge, um, who did very well, but I would make Wilson the fourth 
and the other star of the game. He was able to get a goal and get an assist after shooting a nice shot to generate a rebound to Lozinski that then eventually got to LaBurge to bury the goal. So I would say Wilson would be the other stars with this game. So it would be Garrett Wilson, obviously Zane McIntyre for making 32 big saves and some of the really difficult saves. Samuel Morin again. And then Brendan Saunier for scoring his first on a beautiful cane-like one-timer. So this has been a reaction to the Phantoms' 4-3 overtime win on the second OT winner as Clutch Fitzgerald, Ryan Fitzgerald, was able to capitalize again in OT for the Phantoms, this time against the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, to be able to get the win in their first win against the Pens after losing two straight against them for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms' next game will be on Wednesday at Binghampton against the Devils as they will face the 2-5-2-1 Devils currently against the 6-2-2 Phantoms. So I hope everyone enjoyed this edition of the Ghostly Take, a 4-3 win reaction by our Lehigh Valley Phantoms against the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Baby Penguins. If you want to buy some tickets, they are on sale today at a limited capacity. You definitely want to get your hands on them. They might even be sold out already, but just letting people know if they're not on them as quickly as possible. My next game I'll be covering for the Great Flyers Nitty Gritty. Please like, comment, and subscribe to them as well for all the great videos you read. Jamie and all the great others, myself, Chris, Lance, and others do over there at Flyers Nitty Gritty. And please like, comment, and subscribe here at Sports Fanatic News. Trying to hit 125 by the end of the week. We're at 119 now. But again, hope everybody enjoyed this great edition of the Ghostly Take. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. And enjoy the hockey. I will be doing a preview to the Flyers game shortly. Peace out, everybody.